Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be making the angle support. Um, it is going to involve making a reference plane. So we will talk about that uh, when we get there. So the way that I'm going to make this is I'm going to draw this base part uh, right here. And then I'm going to extrude it the 20 millimeters and then draw this outer circle here and then extrude it up the 25 mil. Then we're going to make that reference plane uh, 120 degrees uh, offset from this bottom. And then we're going to come uh, around from the back and then draw this piece right here and then extrude it forward the 20 mil. Then we're going to uh, draw on the right plane, so the plane that we drew this um, first face on right here. Uh, and then we are going to draw a line from this top part uh, all the way through this curve, but make it uh, coincident with this curve so that way it uh, touches it and then we're gonna uh, make sure that the edges uh, go all the way through it and then we're going to uh, extrude that the 16 mil and then finally draw this uh, hole right here in the middle through it so I have the final piece up right here so what I was talking about with this line right here is you want to make sure that this diagonal line that goes through uh, is uh, coincident with this edge of this circle, but you want to make sure that it goes through it because if you just stop this line right here, if you extruded this out sideways, then you would be left with a gap right here. So that's why it's important to make sure that it goes all the way through. So let's get started on a new part. And this is in millimeters. And we're going to draw this first one on the top plane looking down. So I'm going to start off with a center rectangle and then do a three point curve or a three point arc. And then make this dot right or and make the center of the radius coincident with that right hand line. This part is 95 mil. And this radius is 40. It's now fully defined, so we can extrude this, this piece and this piece up the 20 mil. And then sketch on this top face right here, this outer circle. And then we're going to dimension this one to 65 mil. and extrude this up 25 mil from this surface. All right, now we're gonna make that reference plane. So in your features tab, you're gonna see this reference geometry tab right here. You're gonna click that and then click plane. If it doesn't show up for you, you have to make sure that you are out of a sketch. So if you're in a sketch uh, and you go to do it, your reference uh, geometry is only gonna have this mate reference. So you need to hit sketch exit sketch features again and then reference geometry and plane so the way that you make a plane is you have to select two objects so a point on a plane and a point on another plane or a line and a plane um, and then you can set it up from there so since i've selected these two faces on the side you can come over here to the left and see mid plane uh, and that would make a plane directly between it or you can offset it by an angle um, so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to select, uh, this bottom line right here, and we're going to select this bottom face right here. And then, uh, over on the left, we're going to click this angle and then type in 120 degrees. And as you can see right now, it's uh, 120 in the wrong direction. So we can hit flip offset and it's going to mate it in the correct direction. Hit that check mark. And then now we have this separate reference plane that we've drawn. So now we can draw this slanted piece on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the sketch tab and then click sketch and then select this plane to sketch on. Uh, and it's easier to draw it from the back looking forward. And then if your plane uh, isn't big enough, you can click on it and then drag the corners out as you need. So make that one a little bit bigger and make it. There we go.
So the way that I'm going to do this, uh, so these lines of this circle right here are not lined up with this edge. So they're actually sticking out a little bit. So uh, the way that I'm going to do it is I'm just going to make some uh, free floating circles right here and then mirror those. So we'll put this circle in. Then we'll go on ahead and do the outer radius one. We can dimension the inner one to 25 diameter. And this outer one is 25 radius, so 50 diameter. And then I'm gonna draw a construction line here in the middle going up. So that way I have something to mirror it about. Now I'm gonna draw this line over here on the left that comes straight up. And then we're gonna draw a three point arc to connect these two. So click there, click there, and then draw the radius about where it should be. And then we need to make these both tangent with each other. So that one tangent with that side and this one tangent with that side. Now we can dimension this radius to 10. And we're gonna go on ahead and draw this line to the center point going across. And it shows that it is 95 mil total off of the bottom there. All right, now I'm gonna mirror all of that onto the right-hand side. We're gonna mirror about this line. So mirror on this line. There we go, and then draw this bottom line connecting the two. And we can now dimension them to 90 between each other. And now we are fully defined. So now we can go to extrude. And for the parts that we're going to extrude, we're gonna select all four of these. And it is 20 mil thick. And there we go. So now we have that slanted piece drawn. Uh, you can left click uh, on this plane and then click hide if you don't wanna see that anymore. And then uh, come over to the plane that is splitting these in half. So your front plane right there. Um, if you uh, drew this weird uh, and your plane is right here for some reason, you can do what we did earlier with the reference geometry and click plane and then click this side and this side and then it will give you a plane right there in the middle but since we have the front plane available still that's splitting it in half, we're just gonna draw on that one. So we're gonna hit sketch. And then now we're gonna draw a line from the top point over there on the left, and then just draw it down some distance right here. And then come straight down. So you hit this bottom part and then come over to the curve, or excuse me, the angle and then up to the top. And then here is where you're gonna make these lines a uh, coincidence. So you're gonna click this line and that point right there on the top, select them both and click coincidence. And then that is going to align this one exactly as it crosses through. So this is what I was saying right here earlier about how you have to have uh, this vertical line right here inside of this circle. So you cannot make it uh, coincident with this edge because if you go to extrude it like this uh, left and right you're going to be left with a gap uh, between the front edge and this curve and SolidWorks will most likely tell you it is a uh, invalid geometry so the way that you can do it is you can either just bring it all the way to this center point or you can just leave it just somewhere inside All right, now that we have that drawn, we can go to extrude and then click on that middle part and it is 16 mil. And then make sure you do mid plane. 
and then extrude that out. And then as you can see, it is uh, midpoint right there, uh, coincident, but uh, it is touching this face right here. So, the, so this point right here and this line should not be touching this middle point uh, of this face and the edge of the circle should be touching. So now last step, we can come to sketch on this top face, draw a circle. and dimension that to 35. And then go to extrude a cut and through all. And that is it for the angle support comment if you have any questions.